And finally, artists from around the West Metro pay tribute to summer. And Neil personally has more in today's Weekend Showcase. Sunshine. So for me, it's about joy. Looking at the flowers makes me happy. I tend to go toward bright, really light things. Minnetonka Center for the Arts' new show, Art of the Garden, is truly a joyous ode to summer. Plymouth artist Holly Nelson captures the beauty of flowers with a brush. With drawing and painting, it's almost like the, the emotions and the things that I see just come through me and out my hand. And um, on a good day, I just let it go. Flowers have a gesture. I would call it just as people have a gesture, and so I try to capture that quickly. Trish Gardner works in glass sculpture. My glass flower sculptures are really inspired by my grandmother's garden. Trish's work has also been featured in international shows in France and Mexico. Growing up, I spend a lot of time with her, helping her in her garden, and making them just helps me keep her spirit alive. She took her very first glass class at the Minnetonka Art Center and said she still has as many real life flower gardens which continue to inspire. Big difference is I don't have to weed these gardens. <laughs> Another Plymouth resident, Kristen Jang, suffers from debilitating migraine headaches which push her indoors to dark calm spaces. Her stained glass work is a bright contrast. I'm finding that even though I'll try different uh, subjects in, in other mediums, I keep going for things that are bright, colorful, and outdoors because that's kind of what I don't have anymore. Kristen is self-taught in her stained glass artistry and works in a technique called mosaic. You never work from a pattern. It's almost more like painting with glass. Art of the Garden at the Minnetonka Center for the Arts is a summertime excursion worth taking. For Weekend Showcase, I'm Neil Persley, 12 News. And for gallery hours, go to minnetonkaarts.org.